Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of Super Mario 64 Last Impact. And if you are wondering where we are, we are at the file selection screen. Uh, earlier on, I actually, uh, well, I actually got two more game overs and there is a bomb right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just the electrician. Yeah, something that happens uh, if you get so many game overs is that enemies will appear in the file selection screen and, you know, just say a couple of things. I think there was one, one possible uh, enemy would probably be a Goomba who appears on top of the file select sign. Yeah, I think that the enemies probably are randomized anytime you, uh, or a number of times in which you get a game over. And since I've hardly gotten any game overs, mostly because of all the safe stating that I have been doing, because I just cannot really handle doing a lot of things all over again, and I'm still going to be doing them as we go through this final boss level, unless I get lucky, which I probably won't. Yeah, yeah very often you have to make your doubts about uh, miracles happening, because it's unlikely that they will happen. All right, so yeah, I I actually went and got two game overs before recording this episode because I wanted to show you guys what happens if you manage to get enough game overs, and that uh, black bomb showing up is one example. All right, so you will notice that these doors here are open. If you actually uh, arrive here before getting 80 stars, they will be closed up. But in this case, they are open. So we are going to uh, jump in here and access the final boss. Oh, so you finally came to bring me my stars? Took you long enough. I'll be waiting for them down here. Try not to die before arriving here. Ha ha ha. All right, so as you can see right here, there is this sort of uh, glass uh, window right here. And what we need to do is go over into these four directions and do a couple of unlocking. There are also two more bonus stars to collect in uh, in the game, which are both found within this level. Just gotta be careful that I don't fall before I have a chance to save state. I am gonna be doing some save staining quite a lot of times during this because you know, it's, it's quite clear that I will not be able to do all of this in one single go. I mean, I really would like to maybe attempt to do this without the use of save states, but I would just be doing the same things over and over again, and I really just cannot handle that. Oh, I think that bully may be very dumb. It's like he doesn't know how he's supposed to work. You know, because... What he's supposed to do is run into me and push me into the lava, but he was, like, running backwards instead. Yeah, that's an example of why the save states exist. Yeah, I would probably say that if I was playing through this game without using the save states, maybe I would just try to uh, go for completion, rather than just try to get every single star in the game, and the screen is starting to glitch anytime I activate a save state. Yep, yeah, see? It did it again. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for us. Just as long as it doesn't cause the game to crash. Now what I'm trying to do is get back up onto that platform. I just jumped over here to get that red coin, because that's, that's one of the last stars of the game. Getting uh, red coins to get a star. Oh, he ignored the triple jump, or the double jump. Well, he ignored the double jump, that's what happened. As if he didn't do that enough times. Okay. Yeah, for a final boss level in a Mario ROM pack, this is an impressive one. Wow. In fact, I'd say that it's much more well done than Bowser's Rainbow Rumble in Star Road. 
Ooh, ooh. Okay, I was kind of scared that I would. No! Okay, alright. Uh. Oh, thank goodness that there's a heart over there. So I just gotta get to it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I figured out why the heart is right there. Let me read the sign. You worry. Good luck. The boring climb ends here. Jump into that lava fall to bounce to the next platform. Ha ha ha. So yeah, this is the case in which you actually do need to burn yourself. And I think that there are some hearts to make sure that... Oh, oh man. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is backflip over to that lava if Mario would just unplug his ears for that because he has been doing it too often. In fact, he's doing it again. Watch. Mario? Backflip. Oh, that time he actually obeyed me. But that didn't do any good. Oh, and he's back to disobeying me. As if he couldn't give up disobeying forever. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Alright, alright, please, please don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, and there's, uh, there's another red coin over there. Can I long jump to it? I'm gonna try to. I'm pretty sure that I, this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, dang it. I'm pretty sure that I can get it. Ugh, ignore the long jump. As if that hasn't happened enough times. As if I haven't said that enough times. Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to actually go this way? You know, not just for the red coin? Oh, as if the camera hasn't been my enemy enough times. Alright, come on, come on. No! Oh. I, I see the switch. I know where it is. It's just a matter of me getting up there without falling down before I have a chance. Okay! I didn't even try to land on the switch. But I made it. I made it up here. Okay. And I see another heart over there. So I want to try to get to it before... Oh, come on, come on. Well, I got to a heart. You know, this actually kind of gives me a bit of a Zelda feel. <laughs> you know, like, this kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Ganon's castle. In fact, I wonder if Kay's actually was inspired by Ganon's castle from Ocarina of Time when doing this. Alright, what I'm gonna try to do... Okay. Oh, wow, I just went right through that platform. That was totally unexpected. Alright, I'll meet you guys back at the central point. Alright, I'm back all the way down here, and now I'm going to go into the direction of the white line. There is the yellow line, there is the blue line, and we already took care of the red line. So, now we got these other three to... No! Oh. We got these other three to take care of. So, I'm gonna try to get across here. Alright. Made it across. I think I need to wall jump here. Oh, as if that hasn't gotten old, though, wall jump ignorer. Okay. Oh, man. More of the bullet bills. Or does that cannon even have a bullet bill? Or is that actually used for something else? Okay, well, what I need to do is go over there to uh, get that red coin. But can I even position the camera where I can even get to it? Or do I actually triple jump to get over there? I'm gonna try doing the, uh, the triple jump. Oh, the bullet bill comes from that direction! Oh, okay, but thank goodness I did not get hit. Well, I did get hit, but thank goodness I did not fall off. That was what I meant to say. Walking on the wing. 
I'm pretty... Actually, I don't think that you do fall off if you, uh... If the wing goes down, because you needed to climb up it to begin with. And here I am as Fire Mario again. I don't think that this opens up, though. Yeah, it doesn't open up. I bet that if it did, it probably would just lead to a uh, red coin. I think that there's like a total of two coins in each of these different areas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you get a red coin for... Uh, for getting... Well, I'm pretty sure you get a star for getting the red coins. And you also get a star... Uh, I think for activating all of these, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there, there's another coin. What did those fire things light up anyway, or activate? I think that they activated these blocks right here, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Alright, and there is the... There's the next switch. Mario, please don't fall off. We don't want that to happen. Alright. That's another switch down. So we got four more to go. We're halfway through doing this. By the way, I've noticed that there are some stalagmites in the ground. Are there also stalactites? I don't see any, but I, I see stalagmites. Do you see them? It may be a little dark for you to see them. I guess it just depends on how bright your uh, computer screen is, or dark it is. Yeah, the brightness or darkness of a computer screen may uh, determine whether or not you can see those stalagmites that I've noticed in the, uh, in the lower section. Maybe there are also stalagmites on the, uh, the ceiling. I actually am not quite sure how a stalagmite and a stalagmite are different. I mean, I know that Stalactites are on the top, and stalagmites are on the bottom. But, what's the difference? Maybe they're just made differently? Okay, please don't ignore the backflip. Thank you. You don't know how happy I am when you actually listen to me. Over with the backflips. I think that each of these different sections has some sort of a element to it. That skull above just committed suicide. How many different enemies in Mario 64 commit suicide? You know, just jumping off of a cliff. Or maybe just spontaneously, uh, exploding. Alright, oh man. Yeah, this is one difficult section. What you need to do is, like, do the wall jumps, but they... But it's positioned in a way in which it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I think that you just need to wall jump off of one ledge, and then jump back. And I am just having a hard time on... Oh, okay, there we go. I did not think that it was going to take that quickly. Okay, and there is another... Oh, there are two red coins. I better get... Uh, better get this one first. Alright, that's five. Five out of eight. Soon to be six out of eight. All right, six. All right, so I think that this section right here may be electricity-based. The red one was lava-based. The white one was sky-based. And the blue one is ice-based. All right, press on the switch. Okay, so we got three down so far. And there's just one more to go. All right, here we go with the last one. It's the blue one. And, and it's the ice-themed one, where we have to deal with these rolling snowballs. Kind of like the rolling rocks in Hazy Maze Cave. Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, I think that uh, this is like a slippery slope, and I think that, oh my goodness! Yeah, if, if you stop at any point, you will, uh, start slipping. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the next snowball to roll by. Oh, and there it is. Alright, so... No! Mario! Ugh. Good thing I say... No! Good thing I say stated. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that next snowball. Alright, and now... Alright, no! I don't wanna slide, I wanna walk! Thank you! Alright... 
Wow, I'm, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, please don't slide. Okay, all right, make it to the top. There we go, and there is a red coin. I'm, I'm two units down of health, but at least this red coin uh, will heal me, or has healed me, because I just got it. And man, I jumped just in time. If I had waited a little longer, I would have been, I would have gotten hit. By the way, um, it happens to be snowing in my area at the time of the recording of this video, and it is like the night before Halloween, although by the time you're watching this, it may actually be the day of Halloween. No, come on, Mario, don't do the not jumping thing. That has happened too many times already. Oh, it looks like the slippery, uh... No, come on, get up there. All right, here we go. And here comes that snowball. Oh, 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 all right, come on. All right, all right. Okay. All right, so I got that last red coin and that star has appeared. And I think that we can get that as soon as we have finished with uh... No! I really hate it when Mario just falls off as soon as I jump. Okay, so there's the last platform. The last button. And that opens up, that opens up the switch, and it gives us this power star. It just seems odd how they actually reward you for, uh, activating all the switches, while the real reward is just getting to the final boss. Alright, so here we go, and before we enter that section, I'm going to get this star. Alright, so I've done it. I've gotten all 130 stars in the game. And now the last thing to do is to fight the final boss. And as I said, it has been uh, snowing in my area. I don't know if it has been for anyone else, but it, it is right now for me, even though it's the it's October 30th. Okay, anyway. Oh, it's you. What's up, old pal? Remember me? I'm the guy that is going to end the world. Surprised to see my new form? I was able to regenerate some of my power. It's not perfect, but hey, it's going to be enough to not take you serious. Haha. -ha. I know you won't just hand me the stars, so let's play a little game. I'll play with you until you are very tired and then regain my full power with your stars. And the final boss fight begins. Now, this creature's name is Rache, and a, a, I, I read on the Mario 64 ROM hack wiki, and it says that oh, that Rache is actually I should probably wait to uh, tell you. All right, so the first thing that he does is throw these platforms. It's not going to be easy for me to get up there, is it? Alright, so this is like the first task in the final boss fight. Alright, I made it! Oh, but I've been knocked back! That game was boring. I'll hunt you now. Yep, this is the next phase of the fight where he just chases you around. And the key here is to try to keep away from him as long as possible. All right, anyway, uh, according to the Mario 64 ROM hack wiki, uh, Rache's uh, design is based upon a sort of monster that Kays had seen in his dreams when he was a kid. And that's quite impressive to actually, you know, just take elements from your childhood and put them into, uh, you know, your own creation. Or, you know, like, a future creation. And as you can see, he was just playing around with me, just throwing me around. And here are the Goombas. And also I have, uh, only one unit of health left. So let's see what the Goombas have to say. 
Oh, it's you. Were you also trying to steal the princess? No, I was trying to rescue her. We were caught in the act. Mm -hmm. You looked pretty chanceless out there. Hey, maybe do you want to team up with us? Mm -hmm. Oh, after all we've been through earlier in the game, we look like ordinary Goombas, but we actually know a lot about these power stars. Yeah, you've said that before earlier on in the game. We'll power you up with all these stars you've collected. You will be able to jump higher and run faster, and you'll regenerate health quickly. Ah, regenerate health quickly. And after you beat him, we'll steal Peach together. I think you mean rescue her together. Yeah, the Goombas are still villainous, but they are willing to help me out. That glow, did you just drain the star energy? I should have taken you at least a little serious. Congratulations, you've just gained the right to witness a god's semi-perfect form. Bow down. And he is transforming. Into a sort of skeleton-like creature. Alright, so anyway. This is it. This is the final phase of the boss fight. So yeah, Mario's running fast. And he can also jump higher. And he also regenerates health very quickly. So I guess, I guess at this point I don't need to use the save states now because... Well, I'm... I regenerate health all health over time, so... Yeah, there's no way I can lose at this now. Yeah, basically, what started out as a little game that was a little easy at first, and then got a little harder over time, and then a little harder, and then getting at the very end of the game. We are now dealing with something that's very easy. Something that will help us greatly in this fight. Anyway, as we are doing this, I thought maybe I could uh, show you uh, uh, some fan art that I've done of uh, this game while I am uh, dealing with... <laughs> yeah, dealing with him. Alright, so first off, here's an image that I did of the Goomba Bros. It's, yeah, I know it's not all that great. I, I did improve on my artwork over time, but this was like a little... This was back in 2016 when this game first came out. I had, I had just like finished playing the game for the first time and had just drawn these. So yeah, here's, here's the picture of the Goomba Bros. I find it to be impressive. And then here's a picture of the mermaids that we saw in Crystal Caves. And then here is a picture of the Big Beast uh, for Big Beast Belly. Yeah, just showed you how his mouth is just open like that all the time, since that's how you need to enter the level. And then here is Roche, the picture that I did of Roche in his first form, uh, during the fight anyway. And his first form was actually just those eyes early on in the game. And then here is his final form, the form that I am fighting right now. Oh, and you've already noticed, but he does shoot fireballs. Makes good sense, because he does look like a dragon. Okay, so that was another hit on him. Oh, yeah, he... If you manage to get on top of him, but you don't pound on his head in time, he will gradually uh, spin. Oh, I've got him again, and he still is not beat. Oh, I thought I was gonna get him. All right, gotta restore my health. It's slowly going. All right, five and six. I thought I had him. Darn it, I thought I had him again, but he just bit me like right out of the blue. And there we go! The final hit! And he's like... Yeah, he's falling to pieces. Oh, Mario's just floating in the air. We did it, guys! 
We managed to defeat Rache and save Princess Peach. You won! Now we can save everything! The star power can put the moon back up into space! Let's fly back to the Mushroom Kingdom! We'll celebrate your victory with a party and lots of cake! Mm -hmm. Alright, so, yep, these are the credits. He did actually put credits into this game. Yeah, unlike with Star Road, which didn't have proper credits, just that signpost. But Kay's managed to get a proper credit scene. Yeah, he's just a wizard with drum hacking. So, as you can see, he is, uh, these are the credits that shows about the process of this game and, you know, the music. And he also credits Nintendo because, well, you know, Nintendo made Super Mario 64 to begin with, and, uh, and you know, we wouldn't have this game if we didn't have Mario 64. So, yeah, we're just going through all of these different uh, levels, showcasing the uh, levels uh, throughout the game, because, well, they did that in the original Mario 64. There's the beehive, and there is that uh, cloud level with the windmill, and there's that large uh, desk. Oh, and there's the fish tank. Oh, and there's even the air bubble at the top, even though this is the credit. And there's Shadow Factory, where we fought Shadow Mario. And there's the Big Beast's belly. They even showed that. I mean, it is a level. And there's the casino level. Yeah, I know. It's pretty obvious, all of these different levels. I think that the they're showing them in order. You know, like the order that I should have done, but I did them kind of out of order. So yeah, I... I pretty much find Last Impact to be a very impressive ROM hack. In fact, maybe even more impressive than uh, Star Road was. Alright, so here's the last scene where Mario, Peach, and the Goombas are having this picnic. It was nice of you Goombas to even help us in the end. Together, you guys saved everyone. Now let's enjoy some cake. My camera was about to tip over, but I, I stopped it in the act. Okay, so, this last bit right here, uh, only two game overs. I've had to make uh, two game overs when, uh, you know, earlier on to, uh, to, you know, get that game over, like, at the, uh, at the start of the episode, so that Black Bomb would uh, show up. Alright, so... Uh, we are at the end of the game, and it shows here that the total play time that I had for playing this game was 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 54 seconds, which of course excludes the uh, minutes that, or the time that was taken off from using all those save states. And it shows that I've gotten a total of 130 stars, which is the total amount of stars in the game. And the coin score total is... 1,535. There are two game overs. Well, actually three, but for some reason the third one doesn't count. The calculated score is 25,264, and the total amount of one ups I've gotten is seven. Yeah. So, anyway, this is pretty much where the game ends right here. It just pretty much stays on uh, this screen for the rest of the time uh, that you are uh, playing. So, it's this is pretty much what you get now. So, it just stays like this no matter how long you keep the emulator running. So, I would just like to thank you all for watching this Let's Play of Super Mario 64 Last Impact. It certainly was quite a ride uh, to get through this. It, you know, just going through all of those levels again. A uh, third time, by the way, because I played this game two times before, before doing this uh, Let's Play. And did a few funny moments. And, you know, generally I think that this was the best ROM hack that I've uh, done a Let's Play on so far. So, anyway, 
I'm not quite sure when I will start uh, doing my next Let's Play or when I'm going to, uh, or what game that I'm going to be doing next. I'm not sure if I will do another ROM hack or if I'm going to actually go on to playing an official uh, game, you know, like one that was actually made by uh, the company and not by uh, a fan just making a custom game. But anyway, it may be a while before I do start doing another Let's Play, but for now, this pretty much is it for Super Mario 64 Last Impact. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next Let's Play, whichever one that's going to be. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next Let's Play.